Won't show like that. What? No, you're cute. Babe, are you kidding me? No, it's good. Oh. You're still my favorite queen of the night. A friend that's driving again. Let us drive up again. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the vlog. We are cozy vibes. I got. The Dreamy set on from Buff Bunny Collection. Beanie from Alphalette. Actually, I don't know if this is a sample, if they've launched it, but it matched with the whole rosy vibe going on, so I stole from Christian's closet. And then I got some, are these Adidas? You got some Adidas. I feel like I haven't vlogged in forever, so. Missed you guys. I'm gonna grab my coffee, where is it? Where'd it go? All right, guys, I am trying to find a spot to record. Okay, it's kind of low. Car Talks with Heidi. Who remembers when I used to do on Snapchat, I used to do these like story times where I'd basically like procrastinate my, procrastinate my car before going to the gym and I would just sit in my car and chat. I miss that actually. Something about sitting in your car before you go into the gym, you know, it's like peace and quiet, you're comfortable, you're jamming to your music, and just vibing. So I wanted to chat with you guys and open up the comment section below and see if anyone else has experienced what I am currently experiencing. A few months ago, I had a pap smear done and it came back abnormal. Put me down to do a biopsy and a ultrasound with my uterus. Hello? So we had both done, um, had the biopsy recently, and honestly it was like terrifying. I basically had a panic attack on the table because I was like, I don't like pap smears in general. I'm very uncomfortable during them, but not only that, but also having a microscope and just like them taking pieces of flesh. Uh, I just, uh, not okay with that. So that was not fun. And they found out that I have a condition called Adenomyosis, ad adenomyosis, ad adenomyosis, I'll put it right here. Okay, I know I would always joke around in my stories, my YouTube videos, and I'd be like, oh, my cramps, and, blah, and complain about it, and some of you guys would be like, you're disgusting, stop, TMI. But really, my cramps are really bad. Like, I'd be like, what is happening? Am I dying? Turns out, my, the lining in the uterus wall has grown into my muscle, which is causing it to be so painful. And basically every year it gets worse. Yay me. And so they basically were like, the only thing that you can do to relieve it is a hysterectomy. So I'm sitting on this operations chair and they're just taking pieces of my flesh, asking me if I want a hysterectomy and just telling me that my uncomfortable periods are just gonna get worse every single year. And I was like, great. And I wanted to share that because I'd love to hear from you guys. Have you guys ever had abnormal pap smears? What has happened? Does anyone else have aden adenomyosis? And like, how do y'all freaking cope with that? Did you guys get the hysterectomy or did you just deal with the cramps that got worse over time? Is there anything that helps soothe them? Would love to hear from you guys since we're all women. We can all help each other. Hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat and I would appreciate y'all's comments down below on how we can help each other. There he is. Hi, thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, it's good to good see to you. See you Let's go talk some samples. Cool. Right, so I got some Very excited. Cool. Are these a premium? Yeah, those are the premium. Those this looks great. The sizing, yeah. Well, it's got some texture too. Exactly, nice. and it's pre shrunk. Get these all in by tomorrow to where I can just ship them to you. Milo, hello, hello. You remember me? Hi. Oh. We're on the road again, had a quick lunch. Now we are going to my allergist appointment. I've been getting allergy shots for a while now. I did the rush allergy where I did a year's worth in a day. Life changing for me and now I do it once a month. Meanwhile, bring the iPad everywhere we go so I can continue to work. no swelling or anything? Um, I mean, it, it did swell and get red, but... And you did take an antihistamine already? Uh, yeah, like 20 minutes ago. Okay. All right, that's good, as long as you took one. All right. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right, you're all set. Y'all are just looking at see if it's bigger than a quarter? Yes, ma'am. Okay. 
So if it ever gets bigger than that, then most definitely give us a call. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. It is now 5:30, and got so much done today. So excited. You know, going to the headquarters because it. What he's thinking for this January launch. Hi guys! So originally, like to sum up this whole thing, uh, one word that we were thinking is try to make everything a lot easier. Too. Will you send me this when you're done? Because yeah, I have one sure. other photographer that can do some stuff like this in Denver. Yeah. Yesterday it was sort of like it. starting yeah. with her in the car. All right, I am going to head to the gym. Oh, did I spill my water? No. Yeah. And I don't think I've told you guys on YouTube yet, but I hired a trainer once a week. Joe at Alphaland and he's been amazing. Main reason for getting a trainer is it's supposed to be every Monday because Mondays I'm just brain dead after work. I don't want to think about what I'm going to train that day or my program. And so he's been kind of just taking that over for me every Monday and we're really focusing on hitting different PRs and that has just, it has ignited my soul. It has given me a spark back into my fitness lifestyle, my workouts. And it's been fun. I feel like I challenge myself and I definitely work out hard when I'm alone or when I'm with friends. Um, but it's been great with Joe because I also trust him as a spotter. I've, I've had other people spot me in the past where I'm like, uh, just not the best spotters. And so it's nice to have someone there that knows how to spot, that knows how to push you, but also spot you. That's been really great. That's been a new little thing I've been doing lately. And we're gonna go now and do it. But to be honest, I just had a burger like an hour ago. I had a lot of fries. My stomach feels like, like I'm not gonna hit a PR. I don't know if I have heartburn right now or what. But we are gonna, we're gonna see what happens at the gym. Ugh. I feel like if I try to hit a PR, I might throw up today, but let's see what happens. Fit of the day, I have on the Untamed hoodie from Buff Bunny Collection. One of my all-time favorite hoodies. And honestly, one of my favorite colors. This is a Stitches color. It's this really cool, heathered, gray and white type of color. And then I have on the Amplify leggings. Whoop. And then I have on a Candy Wrap Sports Bra. <laughs> and then I got on some Nike Metcons. Really love these shoes. Why did I eat greasy food? We'll see what kind of workout we do today. I was really hoping to, to hit 205 squat today, which would be a PR. My last one was 200. I was like, I just want five more pounds. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen now because I hit, feel not the best. She's got a really cool backpack. It's been a little while since you guys have seen a boutique. We are gonna be making some changes to it soon. We have mannequins, which we are changing soon. Oh, look how beautiful this looks. Wow. What's going on YouTube family? Sick girl workout coming in. I'm kidding. It's not a sick girl workout. I wasn't actually sick. Sick. I wasn't actually sick. But to be honest, by the end of this workout, I actually felt surprisingly better. I felt, I would, say, I would give myself a solid 99% after the workout. So I really think my body just needed that extra hydration and blood flow just to flush out the indigestion I was feeling. Anyways, y'all, lately my workouts have been incredible. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, I started having more fun in the gym lately just by testing my strength, really challenging myself, and hitting some PRs. Today, I went in wanting to do 205. Unfortunately, that did not happen. I wanted to listen to my body. I knew that I wasn't really feeling 100%, and that hitting a PR today was not the right choice. So instead, we focused on squat form, technique, breathing, endurance, and it felt really good. And I know these are things that I've been wanting to practice more. Something else that we kind of touched on during this workout that I thought was great, I was being hard on myself, you know, I wanted to hit my 205. We were talking about how, you know, I go into the gym sometimes and I go to hit my PR, right? 
and I give the gym my best that day. I really go into the gym and I, and I give my my best every single day. Some days I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna hit a crazy PR and then some days I'm gonna go into the gym, not feeling 100%, but I still go in there, I get in my workout, I move my body and I feel better afterwards. And although I may not have hit a PR this day, it's still a win for me. Both of these days are my best. My absolute best won't always look the same day to day and that's okay. Because guess what? <laughs> I'm gonna show up the next day to the gym and I'm going to give it my best again. Okay? And I'm going to hit that 205 squat. And I'm gonna keep pushing my limits and I'm gonna keep giving it my best every day and eventually I will get 225, 250, 300, we will see. But running out of space for my voiceover <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed the workout enjoyed the voiceover and enjoy the rest of the video guys Hi, oh my gosh it's time. I'm so excited i live here we do some crazy costume for halloween and jessica makes majority of all of them actually this is like a six-year thing like it's tradition check it out but i'm gonna do a little try on you guys can try to guess what it is <gasps> okay perfect you're the artist whatever you think <laughs> this is so cool yeah so see good thing i did this mm -hmm. okay. i'm gonna shower and crash <laughs> sorry if this vlog has been negative nancy with i think i started the beginning off kind of like what was me and then got to work out and it was what was me and then I was like I'm so busy so sorry if this vlog was not the most positive but thank y'all for watching anyway I love y'all I appreciate y'all I will see you in the next video let me know what videos you guys want me to do in the next few weeks I'm thinking either some recipe cooking videos or do we want to do more workout focused or when do we do we want to do more outfit hauls what are we vibing or Q&A's I haven't done a Q&A in a little while maybe I'll do a Q&A let me know what you guys want me to film next. Bye guys.